Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are gonna be solving uh, problems with mixed measurements, only this time we're, all, we're only gonna be focusing on length. So like feet, inches, yards, etc. So let's get started. So what we've got here is we're supposed to be adding and subtracting. So let's zoom in on F. So F says we've got seven inches, plus we have another seven inches. So we can add those together. There's one way to do it, which is 14 inches. But then we need to remember that those 14 inches is really a bundle of 12 inches plus two inches. And that those two, uh, 12 inches right there, that's one foot. And then we have two inches left over. So there's our one foot and two inches. And while, while we're zoomed in, let's do H. So H is saying we've got two feet, now take away six inches. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, well, let's start with just writing it down. Two feet minus six inches. And so it says to take away six inches, but we don't have any inches. We only have feet. So let's take those two feet and break them apart into one foot plus 12 inches. So now we've got one foot and 12 inches. Now we can take away our six inches. So when we take away those six inches, that leaves us with six inches. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's undo. And so that leaves us with six inches. So we end up with one foot, six inches. One foot, six inches. Now another way to think of that is we could have drawn a picture. We could have said, well, let's draw a picture of two feet. So here's a, here's a picture of two feet. Zero to one, and then one to two. And we could have said, so let's label that, two feet. And we could have said, well, that's one foot plus 12 inches, and that's a visual of what we could have, you know, how to, how to explain it to your students of what we're doing up there. It's a visual. And then the last way we could have thought about that same problem. So I'm going to write it down. Uh, two feet minus six inches. Another way is to think of it on a number line. And we could say, well, we're going to start way down here at six inches. And we want to figure out what do we have to add to six inches to get all the way up to two feet. And we could have said, well, first you could add six inches. One, one way is to add six inches, and that would get you to one foot. And then add another foot, and that will get you to two feet. So what did we have to add all together? Well, we needed to add one foot plus six inches. And that's our answer to the subtraction problem. So we got a, a variety of ways for how we can solve these problems with addition and or subtraction. More of the same, just a little bit more complicated kinds of problems. Oh, for example, let's zoom in on C, problem C. So problem C is saying, We've got five yards and one foot, now take away two feet. Well, we don't have enough feet over here to subtract two feet. So let's take a yard. So we're gonna have four yards and break that yard into three feet. So now we're gonna have four yards plus three feet. That's the five yards plus we have another foot left over still. So together, we now have four yards and four feet, and it says to take away two feet. So when we, four feet take away two feet, that gives us two feet, and we have the four yards still left over, so there's our answer, four yards and two feet. That's one way to do it. There's other ways, but that's just one way. 
As long as we're zoomed in, let's take a look at problem E. So it, this is an addition problem, 7 feet 8 inches plus 5 inches. Well, we're going to take our inches and add them together. That's going to give us 13 inches plus we have the 7 feet. We need to know that 13 inches, well, that's really one foot plus one extra inch. So how many feet do we have all together? We have eight feet all together, and we have one little inch left over right here. I think that's all we need to do on this, because this is more of the same. So parents and teachers, I think, first off, notice there's a lot of work here. Be thoughtful about how many of these problems you're going to expect your students to do. Just provide a, a nice little mix of some additions, some subtraction. You don't have to do all of the problems. So some word problems to practice uh, this concept with. So it says Lori bought 9 feet 5 inches of blue ribbon. She also bought 6 feet 4 inches of green ribbon. How much ribbon did she buy all together? So you've got the blue and you've got the green. And the blue is nine feet, oops, nine feet five inches. And then the green is six feet four inches. And the question is, how much did she buy all together? So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to add nine feet five inches plus six feet four inches. We can add our feet to our feet. That's 15 feet. And we can add our inches to our inches. We get nine inches and we are done. No, there is no um, measurements that need to be renamed. You know, we can't break them apart and, and cash it in for a larger one or something. So there's our answer. 15 feet, nine inches. So another practice. The length of the room is 11 feet, six inches. The width of the room is 2 feet 9 inches shorter than the length. What is the width? So you've got your length. It's 11 feet 6 inches. 11 feet 6 inches. And then you've got your width, and it's shorter. And it's shorter by 2 feet 9 inches. So what is that width? So the question is, what is the width? So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to take that length and we're going to subtract the 2 feet 9 inches and that's going to give us the answer. So let's, let's do that. So we're going to have 11 feet 6 inches subtract 2 feet 9 inches. Well, if we're thinking about the inches, we don't have enough inches to take away the 9 inches, so we're going to take a foot and cash it in for 12 inches. So we now have 18 inches and 10 feet. Take away 2 feet, 9 inches. So now we could take the feet from the feet, and we get 8 feet. And we could take the inches from the inches and get 9 inches. And that is our answer. 8 feet 9 inches long. That is the width of the room. So this is a fun problem. And so I'm going to first zoom in and we're going to read it. So Tim's bedroom is 12 feet 6 inches wide. The perimeter of the rectangular shaped bedroom is 50 feet. What is the length of Tim's bedroom and how much longer is the length than the width? So a lot a lot of stuff going on here so I'm going to kind of put that up at the top because we need a little bit of extra room here. And we're going to draw and I never remember which is you know length which is width so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so we're going to say that the Tid's, uh, Tim's bedroom is 12 feet 6 inches wide. So I'm going to label this one 12 feet 6 inches wide, which means this length up here is also 12 feet 6 
inches wide. We don't know the length, and we don't know the length, but we know that they're, they're the same. They're the, both the same. And so now the idea is, well, how do we figure this out? Well, the, remember that the entire perimeter, the entire perimeter is 50 feet, meaning if we traveled boom, 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 all the way around the building, we would travel 50 feet. So, so far, we've got 12 feet, 6 inches, plus another 12 feet, 6 inches. So, what is that total? That's 25 feet. 25 feet because uh, 6 inches plus another 6 inches is a foot. And then 12 feet plus 12 feet is 24 feet, plus that extra foot is 25 feet. So, so far, we've used 25 feet. So, when you add this and this, you get 25 feet. So, if we know all the way around is 50 feet, well, that means this guy and this guy is also um, 50, uh, 25 feet. So 25 plus 25 is 50. So that means these guys are also, what a trick question, 12 feet 6 inches. Because they're also, this guy and this guy has to be 25 feet. And so we already know the answer. It's got to be 12 feet 6 inches. So how much longer is the length than the width? It isn't. It's 0 inches longer because they're identical. And that wraps up 4th grade module 7 lesson 7 solving problems involving mixed units of length.